good morning. Welcome to Exodus chapter 20. We're in the Ten Commandments, and we've come to the fourth commandment. We're at Exodus 20 today, verse 8. Let me read verse 8 for you. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Okay, so remember here, zakar is the Hebrew word. Remember, this is the only one of the Ten Commandments that starts with remember. Now, God wants us to remember certainly all the Ten Commandments, but this one is one that's very interesting because God has put it right up there at the front. Remember, like maybe God thought maybe this might be one commandment that for whatever reasons uh, might we might have trouble with memor remembering and, and uh, following through on. So this actually encompasses verses 8 through 11. We won't do them all today. We'll start with just verse 8 this morning. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So there's two or three things to keep in mind here right off the bat, okay? First of all, we have this command to remember, which is weird. It's, in, it's conspicuous because, yeah, why doesn't it say, well, remember the commandment about adultery, do not commit adultery. That's certainly a much forgotten commandment today. Uh, but this one is, is highlighted. There's this very interesting piece. Remember this day. Remember the Sabbath day. There's a certain day. There's a distinct day. It is the Sabbath, Shabbat or Sabbath. It is the seventh day. The Bible gives it in, in Mark 135 and back in Leviticus. Uh, we have also uh, 2332. I forget the verse there. It's from evening to evening. In Genesis 1 might be easier to remember. Evening and morning. It was the first day, evening in the morning is the second day, evening in the morning is the third day. And so the days biblically in Hebrew thought are measured sundown to sundown. So the seventh day then would begin today, 6,000 years later, uh, for you and I, it begins at sundown basically on our Friday night. And that for the next 24-ish hours, that is basically Sabbath. That's what we're talking about today. Remember the Sabbath day. It's a period of roughly a day, 24 hours or so. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And so there's this day is marked out as holy. It's distinct in that sense. And uh, people are not treating the Sabbath very holy these days. They go shopping. They go do this. They mow their lawn. They do all different things. And and uh, yet this day, above all the other days, is marked out, and it says, hey, this day you treat differently. There's, there's a unit of time here that God has marked out, and it is the seventh day. Uh, it comes around every week. It's kind of like a weekly remembrance of creation. We'll see that as we get into it. But this is one of the commandments. Now, you might think, well, that must not be very important because very few ch churches keep the Sabbath. They, they keep Sunday. They uh, and, you know, at the beginning, I, of my experience as a Christian, I thought, oh, I always thought Sunday was the seventh day of the week because that's the day everybody goes to church. But it's not the day that everybody goes to church. Uh, not only observant Jews, but uh, Christians who keep the Ten Commandments, also many of them go to church on the seventh day of the week, which is sundown Friday to sundown Saturday night. Basically, that is the Sabbath. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. There's something that God calls us to do. He wants us to keep, to treat this day distinct, and had distinct in what way, to keep this day holy. And holiness again today in our day seems very much forgotten. Uh, if we had kept the Sabbath holy all these centuries and millennia, uh, today perhaps we would have a lot more good things in our world, but we don't. We have what we have and people are neglecting. People, in fact, have largely forgotten the seventh-day Sabbath. So we'll look at this the next couple of days, and you might say, uh, Pastor Larry, are you going to draw this out because you're a seventh-day Adventist Christian? Are you going to draw this one out and give this one more days than the other commandments? Actually, I probably will, and the reason why is not just because of the Sabbath question, because, because this Sabbath is one that has been, this command is one that's been forgotten and God said, remember. So I'm going to make sure that you're helped to remember. You can take your opinion. You can study it for yourself. Decide whether you think this is right or wrong. But I'm looking at the Ten Commandments, and it says, this of all things in the commandments, put your, put your remembrance on this one. Remember this one, and not only remember it, but do something about it. Keep it holy. So this is a unique blessing. It's been a unique blessing in my life since I began to observe the Ten Commandments, including the seventh day 
the Sabbath. There's a blessing in this day. And we'll say more as we, uh, we're just working through text by text here, verse by verse. So remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Probably something that a lot of you who are watching this uh, presentation at random, you probably have been taught that uh, you don't need to remember this one, you can forget it. You don't need to keep it holy, you can treat it like a regular day. Uh, th there isn't anything super important about this, it's just a whole Jewish thing. Well, stay tuned because we'll look at this closely as we go through. But anyway, remembering today, out of all the Ten Commandments, there's one that says to remember it. It's the one most forgotten and God calls us, and a lot of things are entwined in this beautiful blessings that God has connected to the Sabbath day. So it might be something to relook at, look at it again. God is commanding us at the same level, by the way, as thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery, uh, don't bow down and worship idols. At the same level as you shall have no other gods before me, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So this is right there on the level with the other nine commandments. They're all up there at the same spot. Ten commandments, ten devarim, ten words. And here is one that God seems to think, just possibly, people will begin to forget it as time goes on. Hmm. All right, we'll see you back tomorrow morning. <laughs>